My favorite YouTuber, Caleb Hammer, uploaded a video today with his hero, Graham Stephan, another personal finance YouTuber. Mm. Caleb usually is the one doing the financial audits of these people, but it seems like in this video, Graham audits Caleb Hammer's Hinge profile. Which credit card do you charge Hinge to? Uh, What's that? How much is that? Uh, <laughs> uh, it's Apple bills. How much? Let's go to my debit. Debit card. Let's just say something that. about that. Yeah, so he he's... pays for Hinge Premium. Okay. Just we met on Hinge, and I paid for Premium, and I think that you were shown to me because of Premium. Like... Because I'm Premium. What I was gonna say is, I guess it matches, yeah. but then the conversations just die so quickly. Why? Like I try to keep engaged, and I send the last message, and then people just don't message back. I don't know. <laughs> it sounds like you're sending bad messages. Maybe I'm sending bad messages. That's probably what it is. I get my friends to review my profile and stuff. So. Can I? Can I see it? Yeah. Okay. Ah! <laughs> he that is a self report. Said, yeah. That's exactly why I was going. Ah. First, you can see my profile, and then you can okay. just go wherever right. you want there. All right, here we go. Uh, so this is your main picture. Mm -hmm. I hate it. <gasps> you with a banana. It's fun. <laughs> Isn't the rule when you have a first picture with a couple people, the second picture has to only be you, though? No, I would say the first picture has to be you. Just a good photo of you. Graham, something... when's the last time you've had to be out there and try to get a date? You have a fiance, sir. I think Caleb like read some really bad hinge advice. It said put out. No. <laughs> it's just putt oh putt. <laughs> I love putt putt. A special talent of mine is being able to do a Morgan Freeman impression but in British. It was, it's like this. <clears throat> Hello, I'm Morgan Freeman. What is that? I thought it was funny. Ah! Doesn't sound anything like him. No, it doesn't. That's the joke, though. Ah, he, 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 Graham's looking at it just like us, going, "What are you doing, man? What's that, man?" And he goes, "Well, humor is subjective, Graham. I think it's funny." And it's like, "That's no, fine, but like, it's not that funny." It's just, it, ah, I just cringe. I like hurt internally. Every once in a while, our friend she will put Hinge on the TV and will rate her profiles that she swipes on and. And, she, and she swiped on that. I think so. I think that pushed her over the edge. Be I funny, have, and I have I'm friends just who are saying, women. I can't be I'm creepy. I'm just saying, I can't be misogynistic. I, I have I, friends. I have friends who are women. And it is their idea every time. Every time. Not mine. Never. But maybe we just find weird things funny. All right. Maybe we just, we just mm. find weird things funny. Self-report. Self-report. Two truths and a lie. I have three British friends. I accidentally bought a house. Well, we know that one. Uh, S on the beach is the best drink ever made. He is so horny and pretends like he's not. Sex on the beach is the best drink ever made. You're talking about two truths and a lie. You're just trying to bring up sex somehow. And I accidentally bought a house. Shut up. What are you? This is painful. This is like the most painful profile. Content creator, YouTube, and TikTok. I would get rid of that. I don't know if I'd lead in with the content creator aspect. No. Oh, okay. I, 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 yeah, I didn't want to push it, but. <laughs> Graham, Babe. that's what we're saying. Why are you using your content creator status to try to get dates if you're even doing it on your Hinge profile? Don't lead with that. You shouldn't be using that as a reason for people to want to date you. You know, you know you're using that power. The life partner thing. Self-report. Self-report what he's just said under life partner. These are the type of men. <laughs> Who are like, oh, of course, of course I'm looking for someone to settle down with. That is obviously the goal. Why would I be dating if not? But I don't, but I'm open to anything along the way. So like if it, if it, if we just fuck a couple times and then I want to <laughs> dip, that's okay too. Cause I am looking for my wife. The life partner is the ultimate goal. I can't rush into that. And I'm open to anything along the way. Don't worry. I'm a liberal. <laughs> I believe in Roe v. Wade and uh, abortion, right? That's a, the most normal photo on here. Me next to all of my friends. It's yeah. Like, I'm, I'm about Caleb's height, a little taller, obviously. It's really but. funny. So he just said he doesn't want to lead with him being a content creator, <laughs> but then he shows like a picture of him doing Filming. financial audit, and then he shows his like 
camera rig. It's really that's trying like, to emphasize. That's a like, camera for a pro. professionals. No, I'm a yeah. pro. I do this. I, this is my job. Yeah. I swear. I swear. I'm a content creator and I make a lot of money doing it. No, I'm a big one. Look, I'm a big one because I got fancy equipment. <gasps> to me, it's like such a pick me answer. Yeah, just, where's my hug? Yeah, it's just a where's my hug guy kind of thing. It's like, it's so corny, dude. It's just corny. Flexing people he knows. Yup. Is that's when he like visited a studio. This is another one where he is definitely pushing the fact that he's a content creator and he's also not that tall big moment for Caleb I'm happy that he got to do that but posting it with everything else and then also saying two gram just now but he doesn't want to push the fact that he's a content creator on his hinge profile all he's doing is pushing right? the fact that he's a content creator yeah, okay so doing where's it. my hug Where's my hug? I'm a content creator. Oh my God, does he have any like original thoughts? You need a better photo than that. <laughs> yeah. Graham is just reading him to filter right now. Graham, Graham, can we just, can I shake your hand right now? Thank Graham, you. Graham, good job, buddy. Thank you. Caleb's face here is just defeated. Defeat. Don't worry, I'll zoom in on him here. Look at my YouTube plaque, I'm a content creator. <laughs> The whole profile is him flexing how professional and big and like uh, valid he is on YouTube. He's grown so much on YouTube and gotten this quote validity because he's just been berating <laughs> his guests that yep. don't know that they're stepping into this. That's why I don't feel bad making fun of him doing this right now because this is what he grew on. Stop hiding behind the facade <laughs> yeah. of your YouTube character. That's yes. what we're saying. Yes. People don't know it's a character. You don't act like it's a character, Caleb. It seems like it's you. That's why, yeah. uh, where, do, where do you go to messages? Messages here? Oh, so yeah. give me an example of uh, okay, that's, someone that's fine. who's- Okay, that's fine. This is, this is... No, she never responded. Let me see. Trying to find out, I don't know. I'd like to find oh out. Oh my God. Ah! And That's then so he doubles funny. down That's and so says, funny. what can I say? I enjoy some risk. He says, I'd like to find out. And they're, they go to his profile, look at him and go, okay, this is, this braver than you look then. Should we make a hinge? And find Caleb. Bait him. From my perspective, there's, she could see that message and think, it's too much effort for me to try to think of a witty thing to say to that or something fun when you've given her nothing to go off oh, of right. at Let's all. Let's find another one. <laughs> he said, that stop it. Because he realized, oh, this oh, isn't God. the worst one. If he thinks this is bad, they're, oh, I'm about to get cooked. I uh, can't, I like can barely handle this All right, right well, now. we only have like okay. a minute left, so we're good. We're the same type if you drink pickle juice out of a jar. Have you ever been the first to the pickle food truck on S first? That was my message I sent to her. Yeah. To match. Her. Okay. I can't do this. This is like my Super Bowl. He said, that was my first message. I know, we get to see, we, I didn't realize we'd get to see Caleb Hammer's hinge messages. This is awesome. No, that sounds amazing. Seriously, it's so good. Maybe a fun idea for a first date. Way too forward. I'm a forward mother. No, you're into pickles. Your profile is, <laughs> is mid at best. <gasps> and you asked her on a date before she even knows you at all. Have you been the first to a pickle truck? Okay. That's the reason why. This is the equivalent of Roger doubling down and continuing to go live because he's like, no, I know I'm right. I know I'm right. They're crazy. They're wrong. I'll be, no, I'm going to show them every, I'm going to keep going live. I'm going to show them. Right. And okay. then they just yeah. self-report. We didn't even have to find, he just posted it for us. He just posted his crazy. hinge thing. And, and it's so, okay, anyway. One more. All right. There, we'll leave it there. Oh no, come on. We need oh, one more. Okay. Just a third one. Uh she started. You should not go out with me if I if I'm an right. Ohio State fan. I do not like Ohio State because I'm from Michigan. So never be an Ohio State. Okay. I don't know if that's a good first message, but Well, I responded to her prompt though. No, let me find a different one. He's like, okay, see this one's really good. And Graham's like, I know you think this is good, but like it's not, dude. It's, it's not. Okay. They're seriously the worst. They're so gross. I'm glad. There's not as many down here. I didn't go to University of Michigan, but, but as a Michigander, ew. Yeah, they're gross. And then you said the double text. 
I'm a double texture. I'm a triple texture. I'm a I'm a mountain send full stream. You could shoot your shot again a week and a half later and go, how's your weekend going so far? Try to strike up a conversation again. Like that isn't inherently bad, but it's so weird that he's like, how's your weekend going so far? My friend's parents' house where we go on the weekends out, out on Lake Travis just burned down. So I hope yours is going better than that. My friend's parents' house. Okay. Oh no, that's terrible. My weekend was pretty good. Very light conversation. What brings you on here? What do you mean what brings you on here? She's uh -huh. single. But how is she? She's single. Hmm. What brings you on here? That, that's hey, maybe dumb... she's not. Uh, oh, I'm bored of TikTok. She wants to meet someone. Like, yeah, but that's you don't know lame... if she's diddling or dating. Self-report. Get the police. Come out with your hands up. You have the right to remain silent. If you're worried about that so much, if that's front of mind for you, think of the phrase diddling. Projection. Diddling or dating? When have you ever used the word diddling? Non-consensual? Yup. Yup. It feels like... A weird word to say. Project. Projection. A Maybe. lot of projection. My opinion. In my opinion, allegedly. You see that? Dining room camera. Oh my god! Let's go! His hidden dining room camera that Zeke claims is maybe there. Fuck you, Caleb. What did we say? There was going to be a self-report in here that no one else would have really noticed was a self-report except us. Thank you. You know what? Let me let me shake Brandon Gory's hand now because honestly, I think he might be ready to throw Caleb under the bus. All right. So for background information, there is a person named Zeke. Zeke has alleged that Caleb sexually assaulted him. Right after we went, we got done filming, his friend left. He um, sat me down on his couch in the living room and he asked me if I wanted to do another show, another production. I was like, yeah, cool. And then he just quickly, like after two minutes of talking, ended that conversation. And for about like five, 10 minutes, it felt like forever. Um, he kept asking if I like, would do sexual um, favors for him basically. What it felt like was him trying to say, oh, it's for OnlyFans, because he was recording it. He wanted to record it, um, but it really just felt like a, like he wanted to have sex with me. Like, it really was just, like, very uncomfortable. Uh, his iPhone. So he, like, sat me down in the bedroom, and he just was recording, groping me. Zeke has made this allegation, and Caleb has painted Zeke as a crazy person. I haven't fully determined if I you know, want to do audio yet because anyone I talk to who's in the YouTube space says like, these people are just throwing out things. Mm -hmm. The best thing to do is to say nothing. Would you mind like muting the tracks on the roadcaster? Oh, the whole thing off. Yeah. Okay. Which is fair enough, but especially because when you have people like Zeke, Mm -hmm. where they just are living on, I'll show you everything, but they're just in a place where they're just going for full clout. Sure. The moment you start giving that attention, mm -hmm. then all of a sudden it could be like anyone and everyone could just say anything and everything. And then you're re expected to make a response for this, a response for this. Zeke has definitely done some things like threatening Caleb and whatnot that I and Nicole and everybody, even Zeke, disagree with. I'm also not 100% sure what he says I did because it changes week by week. Sure, yeah. It's increased every week in order to get more attention. Mm -hmm. When he first said something a few weeks ago, after I said, no, he can't come on my show for like the a millionth time again, because mm -hmm. he's been on three times. Then he went into a streamer friend of mine subreddit and then made uh, some complaints. Didn't get any attention, so he ramped it up, added some new things. Didn't really get any attention. He's ramped it up, ramped it up, ramped mm -hmm. it up, and now he's gotten to where he is today. Who knows where it'll be a month from now? But that happened. However, after, after, in response to the claim that Zeke is making, from what I understand, and the after the <clears throat> harassment of Zeke, yeah, by, by Caleb's, Caleb's fans army. for making an allegation. So yeah. let's keep that in mind. Just last night, I was told to hang myself on YouTube. Like, I get, I like that's just his fan base. Every day, I've had people asking me to meet up to like do sexual like things as well. It's just disgusting. Like his entire fan base. I wouldn't say all of it, but like his fans are the, those type of people, I, would, I, I assume. Zeke needed gas money to get home. Zeke had no money coming into this shoot. And Caleb had promised it was either 50 or or $100 mm -hmm. to do the shoot, and Zeke had not been paid yet. Zeke has an empty tank of gas and no money. Caleb has promised him money in exchange for being on the show. Caleb knows Zeke needs money. 
the first time in the contract online, it said I was going to get 25% of the revenue share. And so it was expected to make a few thousand dollars, 25,000 or 2,500 at least. Um, and I was only paid 25 an hour for that. Then Caleb offers him a hundred dollars and he says, basically like, can I give you a blowjob? <laughs> Sorry, I had to burp. Um, and Zeke says no a few times. And then eventually Caleb says, for $100, can I touch your leg? And Zeke wants to leave, obviously. But Zeke really can't leave because he, like I said, has no fucking money. And hasn't been paid for the shoot. Hasn't been paid for the shoot. And he's like, okay, if it's 100 bucks and I need it to get home and, and he's going to touch my then? leg, fuck it. I'll do it so I can go. Zeke yeah. consented to, out of, in my opinion, coercion, consented to being touched on his knee slash like leg. For a hundred dollars. And then he said that Caleb touched his knee and worked his way up. And eventually that is Zeke's story. After that, he said Caleb threw the money at him and he left. But part of this is that Zeke claims that Caleb was recording it on his phone. Zeke has a few times mentioned that he thought there might be hidden cameras. My understanding is that people privately pay to watch the interviews live. That's what he said. I'm, I, vlog, I vlog and stream and I asked if I can stream it and he just said, no, people are watch, paying to watch this. The main reason I haven't wanted to have this conversation via text is, sorry, I had to burp. Um, one, I'm not used to OnlyFans, <laughs> straight up. Uh, it's not really my scene. Uh, you know, I'm a personal finance dude. I don't really know anything about that. Uh, two, I'm straight. I'm like 90% straight. I've definitely fooled around because I'm open-minded. Um, and you know, when you get drunk, whatever. But, you know, so, and this is like a, you know, a man-on-man -man thing. Uh, but essentially, I think, well, from the conversation I had with him, the pay will be dependent on what you're willing to do. And what you're willing to do is set by you. So what he would like to do, you guys make out. He would like to do that. What he, you guys, what he would like you guys to do, him fill you up. He would like to do that. You can say no about any of these. He would like to play with your dick and see that that's why I didn't want to type this out either. Cause that's like weird for me to say, I don't, you know, it's not like we're friends or anything, but that's what he wants to do. He wants to, uh, give you a blowjob. Uh, and, oh, I was also told and confirmed with him that your face would be hidden, uh, blurred out and hidden. Your identity would be hidden. Um, um, and then if you wanted to give a blowjob, you could, again, you would make more from that. And, uh, you know, he would eat your butt <laughs> and you would make more for that. You can say no as well. Uh, uh, you know, you could top him. He could top you. Whatever you're willing to do comes with more money, but you could literally do nothing. You could literally just lay back and let him just touch you for the video. And I guess for some reason, his subscribers love that and you'd get paid for it. So really, that's what it is. And, you know, I, there's things that I think. I don't feel comfortable talking about in this kind of situation and I'd be happier to talk over in person. Um, maybe I'm just that kind of person. Uh, so you just let me know what you think. It is not out of the question for Caleb to have cameras throughout his house because of that notification right there. Living room camera, person spotted, whatever it says. Caleb's phone notifying yep. him of a person on the camera. Another area that is definitely now even more concerning is that Zeke said that when they were filming this episode, Caleb said that Zeke can't film because there are people paying to watch the financial audit live. I haven't seen any advertisement really for that, except for on a page on Caleb's website where he like advertises this private Discord server and he says it's 50 bucks a month for access to like live streams and stuff like that. But Caleb himself has said they don't do the Discord server and the private consultations are, nothing's happening with that. Now I know um, you did bring up a couple things, I'll, I'll just say. Uh, yeah, the Discord. It's just because it's hard to remove old descriptions. <laughs> so we just don't do the Discord. That's why it's, that's why it's five seconds. The private one, Claire and I, because I had those conversations with her multiple times. The thing is, so many people begged for them, so I made them. And then because they were so cheap and affordable, because I wanted anyone to be able to participate, and all of a sudden, every single day, I was just filled with them. So I just had to like make it almost like a FU price just to say, okay, this exists because people are asking for it, but I don't have time for it, so please don't pay for it. And eventually I just removed it. Makes sense. So that also doesn't exist. Yeah, I couldn't find it after my initial. I took one shitty screenshot of it. I, I, I found, a couple of people found a way to somehow like circumnavigate and they paid for it and then I immediately refunded them. 
In my opinion, it feels suspicious that there is a hidden camera, a dining room camera in Caleb's house, and that there are people paying in seemingly like a hard, it's hard to get into this pay to pay to watch community. It's weird to me that there are might be cameras in the financial audit room that people are privately paying to watch. I think that's weird. I don't know. Right? Yeah. Right? And so Caleb, what's the deal with the Discord and the private cameras? I officially have a suspicion and I want to know. I'm giving you a chance, buddy. Let's do a little interview. Don't be... What's the word I'm looking for? A p Don't be a...